What up guys, this is Casey Israel again, and today we're going to take a, not only a closer look at the television, uh, we're going to also take a look at the, the games I got in the collection. So this is what a television looks like, uh, and this is what the controls look like, this is pretty much their version of D-pad. And then you had the number of buttons. Actually, it's upside down. You gotta pull the phone cord out of there. And yeah, this is pretty much the D-pad. And it's like one giant button. And then you have two buttons on the side. And it's like a, looks like a phone, pretty much. So, um... What they say this is actually the first 16-bit game console. I think that's debatable because I mean, when you play the games, they're not definitely not in 16-bit. They might have a uh, chip in there capable of it, but they don't really utilize it. So, and they eventually came out with the add-on, the Intellivision Voice Synthesizer trying to pronounce synthesize module pretty much it puts um, voices into the game so I pulled this out early not just now and this is what the add-on looks like so you gotta plug this thing on the side and this is where you put the cartridge in as well so it goes like that and then you take, let me get a game that's supposed to be, um, see if I have one ready to go. Screw it. I'm going to use this as an example. Here's Big Dog, the game. And then, look how long this system is now. And so you can put this game all the way over here now. So... Uh, we'll tr try this out with certain games, see if what utilizes it and what doesn't. So, um, let's look in. And they also had a service that was kind of like the Sega channel that they, I don't have the adapter, but was, I believe they used a phone line to bring games through the phone line to your Intellivision, and once you turn it off, you lose that game. So, I would love to have that add-on, but I was cool to have this one, at least with its box as well. So, let's go look at the game collection. Alright, now we're at the game collection. So, um, on the left side of the loose games is the Intellivision games. From the here over to the right is the ColecoVision games. But, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to start with two games that I have in the collection. Down, that's actually down in the Atari game box collection. Is first. Frogger. Uh, look, it says for uh, television, the Tandy Vision, and the Sears Super Video Arcade. And it has a bunch of companies. You got Parker Brothers, came from them. And then, look, it says license on Sega. And then here's an, another one. It's called Space Battles. Made by Sears Telegames. And then some of these for color TV viewing only. Look at that. That's cool. And then you open it up. There's inlays like right here. The manual. And then the game. So this is what a um, Intellivision box looks like. You can open it up and like a book for the game. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the Coleco Vision games so we can get a better look. Not, not only the 
television loose games, you can look at all the box games I got behind the ColecoVision games. So let's start there. All right, I just moved all the ColecoVision games. I know, forgot to show you guys the 3D printed Intellivision sign I got. I forgot about that, but I bought a bunch of these 3D printed signs like that, and then one for Atari, Nintendo, and you got one for Sega, and Xbox, and PlayStation. So, um, let's look at what games we got loose. Well, we got Dig Dug. This is probably the most expensive one I actually recently picked up for $30. This is actually a rare game to pick up. Bomb Squad. Actually, this uses that add-on that I was telling you about. So, we got to do that one. We got Reversi. Cubert. Pitfall. And you know what? I want to show you something. If you guys are like, oh, they look like a, uh, Atari games. Well, they're actually quite smaller than Atari games. These are actually a lot easier to notice than that. Oh, you got Atari, you got Intellivision, and then show the click over it. The ColecoVision games are a lot closer to the Atari games. About the same build set. <laughs> oh, look at that one. It's broken. But this has a more weird angle. So that's what how the figure. That's a ColecoVision. Plus it says it. Uh, let me pull out better. For, you see how Atari games have them squared. And pretty much the... And televisions are square, but they're also way smaller. But you also best to look at the the fine print. Motocross. From Sega, Carnival. Tron's Deadly Disc. There's three of these Tron games, and that's one of them. Buzz Bomber. Here's an interesting one. He-Man, the Master of the Universe game. <laughs> Made from Nintendo, or licensed by Nintendo. Pretty much licensed also by Coleco. You can see Coleco right there. And then made for the Intellivision. And you send them, they says, all oh, or for Intellivision 2. It's just their remake of Intellivision. All these games play on all versions of the Intellivisions. And that was Donkey Kong Jr., by the way, just in case you didn't know. This is Ladybug. This is a Pac-Man clone. It's not bad. Let me pull this over. You got Shark Shark. Oops, you got Soccer. And a lot of the Intellivision games are shaped like this. They're kind of shaped like one top, like a top layer of the PS4. Retron. Here's another Tron game. Tron Sailor, a uh, Solar Sailor. Ice Track. Track. Armor Battle. From Activision. Stampede. Here's an uncommon game. Sewer so Sam. We could we gotta try some of these more uncommon games like this. Got Pitfall. We gotta try Pitfall, see how much better it is than the Atari version. You got Frogger. 
Actually, I got two copies, so this is probably now going to be for sale. Got Pac-Man from Atari Soft for the Intellivision. You got Pac-Man, just with a plain label. Chess. Baseball. You got from Atari Soft again. You got Centipede. It's funny all these other companies making games for each other systems. From the electric company. Math fun. I'm trying to get it. Kind of see it. It's a little fuzzy. Burger time. And actually, there's a super expensive, well, rare, expensive sequel called Diner. I would love to get that. Royal Dealer. Mr. Basic. What's it? Meds, Bits, and Bites. Tropical Trouble. Dude, the guy looks like, uh, Brody, uh, Bruiser Brody a little bit. I'm trying to get a good look. There you go. Kind of looks like Bruiser Brody. <laughs> Here's Blockade Runner. Another one does look uncommon to come by. So that is all the loose ones I have. So now let's go through the box games. Here's Skiing. B-17 Bomber. Some of these games where it says when you can use the the add-on, it says it talks. B-17 Bomber. You got, I got a couple crunched up boxes, but uh, you got Adventure from Coleco. Uh, from Coleco. From Coleco. Also made by Sa Sega Zaxxon. Tennis. Actually, I bought a lot of these for extremely cheap. You can tell. I got, got the prize. Advanced Dungeon and Dragons. You got Space Spartans. It talks. It apparently uses that add-on too. Uh, poker and blackjack. We you got boxing from Intel itself. You got auto race. It looks like a lot of these were made from Mattel. Got bowling. Sea Battle, Star Strike, that's one of the th things, they have a ton of these space games, Space Armada, NASL Soccer, Space Hawk! You got Astro Smash. Microsurgeon. I kind of really like this, uh. Look, this body. No, this box. It's kind of like trying to remember that guy is dressed up as, like, his body looks like this. You got Lock and Chase. I. Yeah. It looks like a Pac-Man clone. I could tell, or a maze. Got Night Stalker. You got Atlantis. Now I'm going to start putting some of them back over here. Tron. A maze of Tron. That looks pretty cool. Mission X. Major League Baseball. Horse racing. Alright, 
I'm going to stop for a second so I can rearrange some of this. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I just had to rearrange some stuff. So let's continue with the box games. You got Beauty and the Beast. Let's see. Get a little closer. It's kind of like they're doing the King Kong thing. <laughs> let's get... Kind of looks like a uh, Donkey Kong version of the game. Look at that. We gotta review that. Got to. And I kind of love these look of these box right here. Kind of like that silver chrome look of that box. You got NHL hockey. You got triple action. Looks like you got tank, like traffic, and uh, planes. But, what was it? Trying to remember. That's good. You got backgammon. I tried to play backgammon on the. Fairchild Channel F. I couldn't figure it out. And didn't look as good as that. Either. From Sears Telegames. Got Super Video Arcade Auto Racing. This is what it looks. Not bad. Oh, there we go. Snafu. What this game pretty much is snakes. You know, the old cell phone game? That's pretty much that's what it is. You got Super Video Arcade Football. Look at that 16-bit graphics right there. Space Battles. You gotta love that work. Oh, artwork right there. I gotta rearrange this a little bit better. Where I had to move some of this stuff around. Ah, screw it. I'll fix it after this. You got NBA basketball. You got frog bog. We gotta definitely try this. Donkey Kong. From Coleco. Made by Nintendo. For the Intellivision. The box is in okay shape. Huh. That'll do a double look. Got football. NFL football. Pretty much looks like the other football game. Huh. Interesting. Space Battle. Sub Hunt. That does not look bad. That's actually look pretty cool. And Las Vegas Roulette. Let's see what it looks like. Eh, not bad for graphics back then. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, um, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.